Ever since my book, The Three Waves of Volunteers, came out, we have been inundated by mail. And even on my radio show, we get so many people calling in, and it's always the same. It seems as though I've touched on something that's more common than people realize. Uh, a lot of the mail says, I didn't think there was anybody out there that thought like I did. I felt I was the only one in the world who felt this way, that I don't belong here, I don't want to be here, I want to go home. They thought they were the only ones in the world, and so they have kept themselves uh, to themselves and not uh, mixed with others because they felt they were different. So they said when the information came out about the three waves, finally it made sense. Somebody else out there in the world understands me. I'm not alone. You'd be amazed how many of you are all saying the same thing. But we get mail from all over the world, and I travel all over the world, and they're all saying the same thing. I know I'm one of these people, and it finally makes me feel like I'm not strange, I'm not unusual, I'm not crazy. There are other people that feel the same way. They don't like it here, they don't want to be here, and they want to go home. So there's a whole lot more out there than I thought there was. And in my sessions, they're saying that there are hundreds of thousands of these volunteers that have come, and they're all over the world. And they said, finally, we have tipped the scales. And now we have enough of these people on earth that we can save the earth. So it's a very important mission that you have set out on. Now, of course, they say in my first wave and my second wave, it's hard to say. Most of it I base on their age, but sometimes there's crossovers into one and the other. Now the third wave are the young people, the children, and we get emails too, what about fourth wave? There is no fourth wave. It's not necessary. <clears throat> the third wave are the children, and they're already coming in with everything in preparation. The DNA, everything is, you know, that's another email I got the other day. Somebody wanted to know why did they take the DNA away and why are they putting it back. That's not what it's about. The DNA has, is being changed. It's being upgraded, if you want to say that. We're going to 12 strands, but right now we're up to about four or five. I think there are a few people that have six. They have to do it gradually to see if it's going to hold. But the children coming in are coming in with the DNA already in place. They're ready to go. And they, they have the knowledge. They're already here. There's been uh, programs on CNN where these children are establishing companies. They're doing things that the adults aren't doing. There was one on TV who the one 10 year old child has already graduated from, from college and started his own organization. And you know what the organization deals with? Helping the children of the world. They know their place and they have not been discouraged and they are making a big difference in the world. One 11 year old boy in high school, I think it would be high school, <laughs> He has uh, invented something that the doctors couldn't invent that will change the face of cancer testing. And the whole high school laboratory department has been behind him so he can experiment, and now he's working with the doctors of the world. This is what's happening with the third wave. As long as they haven't been discouraged and pushed down, they're here to save the world. Well, I call them the hope of the world. So there is no fourth wave, there are just the third wave, three waves. The first and the second waves are the ones that have had the most problem. You've got to remember, when you come to Earth, you make a plan of what you hope to accomplish. In that plan, you also make contracts with all the people in your life. Your parents, your husbands, your wives, your sisters, your siblings, your friends, you make contracts with all of these people to help you through it. 
of what you plan, you hope to accomplish in this lifetime. But you get in here, of course, you don't remember. That's part of the whole thing of Earth school. The veil comes down. You're not supposed to remember. You start off fresh. I asked them one time, wouldn't it be easier if we could remember our plan, if we could remember our contracts, know why we're here, why these things are happening to us. They said it wouldn't be a test if you knew the answers. So you have to come in and stumble your way back to find your way back. You got to remember where you came from, that you came from God originally, and you came with a plan, a very important plan to help save the earth. Because that is what the first and second waves are here to do. You don't really have to do anything, all you have to do is be. The energy is so strong, it is so powerful, that that is what changes the world. They said the second wave especially, they can walk through a crowded mall of people and their energy will affect everyone that they come into contact with. So all you have to do is be and generate the energy and you're here to make a huge difference in that way. And, but many of them feel like, I don't want to be here, I want to go back. But you're here for a purpose. And once you understand that, you know you're here to do make a big difference. I think that should help a lot of people. But I get hundreds and hundreds of emails. People are all struggling out there, all over the world. And it's they've been placed all over the world for this reason, to change the earth. And we are going into a wonderful time because... We're in the middle now of the shifting to the new earth. We're already there. And you can see, if you really look around you, these volunteers are making a difference. So don't be discouraged. Don't think I'm not doing anything, because you are. Everyone has a part to play, a little piece of the puzzle, and it's very subtle. They don't realize. But it all accumulates, the energy accumulates, and it creates a great positive message for the world. And that's what you're here to be. And that's what the three waves are all about. So enjoy. And they said also bring joy into your life. Enjoy nature. Enjoy what's around you. That's what you're here to do. Okay, I hope that helps.